Hello and welcome back. Today's episode delves into the often overlooked realities of Sir Martin Frobisher's third voyage and its unexpected connection to the concept of Thanksgiving. As we explore this chapter of history, remember to subscribe and follow for more insightful content. Let's journey into the past, exploring the gritty truth behind the facade of exploration. Sir Martin Frobisher, often hailed as a brave explorer, was a complex figure in the tapestry of maritime history. His third voyage in 1578 was far from a mere exploration, it was a venture driven by ambition and opportunism. Much like today's maritime adventurers in the Red Sea, Frobisher's journey was fueled by the allure of wealth. His earlier expeditions had whetted his appetite for what he believed to be gold in the New World. In 1578, Frobisher set sail with a fleet, not just for discovery, but for immense personal gain. This motive starkly contrasts with the more romanticized notions of exploration and discovery. The voyage, grand in scale, was to establish a permanent settlement in the Arctic and mine the alluring gold ore. But beneath these objectives lay a more mercenary intent. Frobisher's actions mirrored those of contemporary maritime raiders. His pursuit of wealth led him to exploit the resources of the New World, much like how modern pirates plunder the seas. The expedition faced immediate challenges. The harsh Arctic conditions were relentless, testing the limits of the crew, akin to the perils faced by sea raiders today. Despite the adversities, Frobisher's men mined approximately 1,350 tons of what they believed to be gold ore, driven by the same greed that motivates modern marauders. Their return to England, laden with worthless rock, was a stark reminder of the fine line between ambition and folly, a line often crossed by today's maritime hijackers. Frobisher's ventures, much like the actions of modern pirates, were a gamble, teetering on the edge of risk and reward. This tale of misplaced ambition and eventual failure draws a parallel to the fleeting triumphs of contemporary sea bandits, whose victories are often short-lived. Yet, amidst these narratives of greed and exploitation, there emerges a connection to Thanksgiving, a concept far removed from Frobisher's intentions. Frobisher's journey, marked by hardship and eventual failure, inadvertently sowed the seeds for a tradition of giving thanks. The formal ceremony held by Frobisher and his crew, expressing gratitude for their survival, mirrors the essence of Thanksgiving today, a moment to reflect on endurance and fortune amidst adversity. This historical moment, though arising from a venture steeped in greed, ironically contributed to a tradition centered around gratitude and reflection. Thus, Frobisher's third voyage, while a testament to the era's unbridled ambition, also inadvertently contributes to the narrative of thanksgiving, a time to give thanks even in the face of overwhelming challenges. Today, we observe thanksgiving as a day of gratitude, a stark contrast to the motivations that drove Frobisher and his contemporaries. In retrospect, Frobisher's journey exemplifies the complex tapestry of human history, where ambition, survival, and unintended legacies intertwine. The story of Frobisher is a poignant reminder that history is often written in shades of grey, with heroes and villains often sharing the same page. His life and voyages, much like the acts of today's maritime pirates, reflect the multifaceted nature of human endeavors, where greed, bravery, failure, and resilience coexist. As we reflect on Frobisher's third voyage, we are reminded of the unpredictable nature of human ambition and the surprising ways history can shape our traditions. In closing, let us remember that the narratives of exploration are not always tales of glory and success but are also stories of human frailty and the surprising twists of fate. Frobisher's story, while marked by avarice and failure, unwittingly contributes to a tradition that emphasizes gratitude and perseverance. In understanding his journey, we gain a deeper appreciation of how history is a mosaic of contrasting motives and outcomes, shaping our perspectives and traditions. As we conclude this episode, it's essential to recognize the multifaceted nature of historical figures and events, and how they continue to influence our lives in unexpected ways. 
Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Sir Martin Frobisher's complex legacy and its connection to Thanksgiving. Don't forget to subscribe and follow for more thought-provoking historical content. Until next time, keep delving into the past, and stay curious.